Good morning. It's March 21st. It's been exactly one week since the um, the fire happened next door to the studio. Um, and um, my energy is better today. Uh, I promised myself on, on Monday that Monday would actually be the last day I felt sorry for myself. And moving forward, I just got to buckle down and figure out the next steps for this studio. So um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to talk for a year today <laughs> because I tend to do that. But I wanted just to say thank you again, everybody, for, you know, <clears throat> reaching out and offering their help. I mean, I have, like, my dance family who <clears throat> offered, you know, so much support and, and, you know, just trying to come up with, with possibilities for the studio as well as, um, you know, like clients that I'm actually not even that close to from Avon that reached out to me and said, hey Jess, if you need me to come and and just help you sort your orders, just let me know. I don't work during the day, so I'm, I'm free. So thank you guys, thank you so much. I, I'm i so grateful for you, to have you guys in my life. And those are the dog bar, uh, bleh, the, the boys barking. Um, I don't know what they're barking at actually. So, um, so just to kind of do a really quick recap on what's happening with the studio. Um, Everything is still up in the air. Actually, they've kind of put a standstill on our claim right now. Um, not really the claim. Sorry, I take that back. They, they, they didn't really take a standstill on the claim. They took a standstill on the work being done on this claim because um, of the unclearness of of our condo insurance by the by the building owners versus our insurance as as like content and upgrade for the unit because I mean we don't we didn't lease the unit we actually own the unit but not the building I, I don't know I learned all this this past week so it's all still brand new for me um, the other thing is because next door was a suspected fire um, sorry not suspected <laughs> it was a fire definitely was a fire but it was a suspicious fire um, Basically, there's an ongoing investigation, and because of that investigation, all work has stopped in their unit. And in order to properly do the gut and clean to my unit, and um, what they need to do is they need to take out obviously the drywall, the adjoining wall, and then the insulation. And when they take out the insulation, what they're worried about is that the soot and smoke from next door, the unit that was on fire, um, all of that will end up cross-contaminating back to us again and therefore we need to do another clean. So yeah, <laughs> I will keep you posted. I'm supposed to find out more information by next week as to what's going on. Um, we are just kind of taking it one day at a time right now. So dancers, please stay patient. Parents, please stay patient. I'm giving you information as I get it confirmed from all the parties involved right now. It's just, it's, it's, it's frustrating. And I know everyone is sad and frustrated. Like we are absolutely still devastated. It's just, I can't, I can't sulk anymore. I mean, I'm, I need to be productive. I need to, I need to plan out the future and I, I need to, get my chin up for my baby, right? I got a, I got like Ginevra, Ginevra husband. Like, mommy, what's wrong? Mommy, what's wrong? Cause she knows that I'm just, I haven't been me lately. So I need to get my act together and move forward. So with that being said, I am going back for my, my YouTube um, watchers. I'm going back to somewhat of a regular schedule. I'm going to continue vlogging this journey because I do want to keep everyone informed. And honestly, this is also very therapeutic for me. Um, so I will be vlogging this journey consistently. Hopefully I'll be able to do weekly updates as I find more information. Hopefully it won't take forever to get everything back in order for us to figure out what the next steps are. Um, and then also I have some footage from previous I really want to share with you guys. Most of it's already been edited. I just need to schedule them out. I just took a pause on that just because I wasn't in the right mindset to have something so cheerful, cheerful out while I was just kind of like huddled in the corner crying, I <laughs> know. But um, yeah, so I have some footage from my studio, I have some footage from Avon, as well as I'm going to go back to some of my lighthearted posts, such as Jesse versus the Onion, because I mean, I've gotten floods of, of um, ideas on what to try and what to do to cut onions and not cry, because I still have to cook. Um, and I'm experimenting with more recipes now, because cooking is also very therapeutic for me to kind of 
take my mind off of things. Okay, I am making this ridiculously long again. I tend to talk for a year. Nelson says that my vlogs are like blah, 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 which is true. So anyways, once again, I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your support, your love, your, like, just virtually holding my hand through this and all the all the virtual love. And I know it, it actually is. It's there. I know you guys. So thank you. I love you guys.